Doc, Brian, congratulations. You fellas are in the last round of this competition. Now we're sending you back to your home for just to recreate this iconic weapon set from history. The classic tomahawk and buoy. Good luck, Bladesmiths. We'll see you in four days. Good luck. Today I have to build a tomahawk and a bowie knife. I have never made a tomahawk, but I'm super excited about doing that today. Planning on first forging the bowie and then start working on the bullet for the tomahawk. That went very well. Didn't have any major boo-boos. She is done for the night. Now it's time to start working on a hawk. This is a wrought iron leg vise. I am going to salvage some of the wrought iron and make the body of the tomahawk with that. Traditionally, hawks were made with wrought iron with a bit welded into it. So I'm going to do a traditional tomahawk with a bit insert. Knife and a half a hawk, that's not too terrible. It's time now to start on this tomahawk. Drift in the eye, it's uncharted territory, so we're going to see where we go. I wanted this axe head to be nice and tough, ready for the test they're going to do. So right now, I've got my length from the shaft to the cutting edge. So at the end of day two, I've got a knife that is ready to have the handles on, and I've got a tomahawk head ready to be heat treated tomorrow. Morning of day two, and I am stoked. Big plans for today with the tomahawk. I want to go ahead and get the eye drifted, get the bit welded in. I have to get these weapons heat treated today. I think it's looking pretty good right now. I'm going to split the front of it and get a bit in it, put the cold bit into the hot head, get everything fluxed up, and start bringing up the welding heat. With the tomahawk, as I'm drawing it out, I've noticed a dark line, and it opens up. I'm going to get it hot and hit it and see if that weld's going to hold or not. If this doesn't work, then and it'll be a whole lot of work today for nothing. It didn't weld to the back of the bit, so it's done. I got to start over from scratch. So I take a piece of leaf spring and start moving it. I am not happy today. I still have a lot of stuff to get done. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull that off. Going into day three, got my bowie knife completed, handles ready to put together, and tomahawk ready for heat treat. I do my file test, and she's escaping. I love that sound. Got a pretty substantial amount of black walnut here. I have got to do a lot of grinding. And I decide to try to test fit it. And it just comes right off of the end. I ground out too much off the handle. You got a little grinder happy. If I can't get this fit up properly, that could be a potential place for failure. The easiest thing that I can do is pop a little weld inside this eye and see if I can make this work. I get the tomahawk head slid up. All that's left to do now is put a few finishing touches on them. All right, Bladespits, welcome to the kill test. Well, to find out what kind of lethal damage your weapons will do, I'm going to take your weapon and deliver some lethal blows on this ballistics dummy. Doc, you're up first. You ready for this? Yes, I am. All right, Doc, let's talk about your set here. I love the feel of your buoy, and I can thrust and slash without any issues at all. Now, your tomahawk, good weight to it. You can definitely feel an impact, and it definitely slashes nicely when you're trying to cut. There is a little rattle, but it's not enough to where you're going to feel like it's coming off. Overall, sir, your tomahawk and buoy will kill. Nice. All right, Ryan, your turn, sir. You ready? Let's do it. All right.
All right, Brian, let's talk about your buoy. The size is right on your handle. The scale you have there really fits in my hand. When you cut through that and you stab, you can really feel a deep wound channel. Now your tomahawk. It's so light, I'm like, am I picking up a stick? But when you strike this skull, it dug in very deep. And overall, they will heal. All right, gentlemen, time for the strength test, our throw and chop. I'll be using your buoys and tomahawks to throw into our target wall and then chop into our fence rail. Now, this test isn't about what your tomahawks do to the fence rail or the, or the target. It's about what those targets can do to your tomahawks and or buoys, all right? All right, Doc, you're up first, you ready? Definitely. All right, so Doc, right off, got a good weight to it. There's enough uh, weight there to get some good momentum in the throw. This is a friction fit, correct? Correct. It's a very traditional way to do this, so I'm not surprised that with throwing it, it's come a little bit loose. As far as your buoy goes, the grinds are beautiful. You've got that hollow, and then your clip point meets it, and that gives a lot of support for that tip. So well done. Thank you. All right, Brian, you're up. Are you ready for this? Yes, sir. Brian, right off, and it throws beautifully. There's a bit of a twisted warp to the handle, so when I grab it and index off the feel, the head's just a little bit to one side. As far as your buoy goes, I like the look of this. Everything's still tight as a set. I think they go really well together. Nicely done. Thank you. All right, bladesmiths. This is the sharpness test, the Sandman slice. Now, to test the sharpness of your weapons, I will take a weapon and cut up the Sandman. What's up, Doc? <laughs> you ready for this? Definitely. All right, Doc, as you can see with a compression fit, a couple of times that thing loosened up. It shouldn't be that loose to where it comes and moves around when you're moving with the weapon, especially when you're doing some kind of attack or test with it. This is a nice stabber with your buoy here, and the chops, as you can see, are also deep chops. But then again, with this kind of thing, when you're chopping through, it just loosens up, and that's an issue. Overall, it'll cut. All right, Brian, your turn. So you ready? Yes, sir. Let's, Let's do, do this. this. Ryan, let's talk about your weapons right here. The Bowie's Edge slices and dices. You can hook nicely with your tomahawk, and your tomahawk digs in when you're cutting also. And overall, your weapons, it will cut. Okay. All right, gentlemen, your weapons have been tested. The judges have evaluated your work. Our new Forged and Fire champion is... Brian, congratulations. Unfortunately, Doc, at this time, I have to ask you to please leave the Forge. Come on forward, my friend. If I could have done something differently, I would have probably figured a way to place the pin somewhere to keep the head from sliding back down. I came here to have fun. That was my number one goal, and this has been a blast. Probably been one of the best experiences of my life. Brian, you are the new Forged and Fire champion, and that is a title that comes with a check for $10,000. Congratulations, my friend. Come on over here and shake our hands. Good job. Thanks. Good job, man. It's amazing. I've learned a lot. I learned that you don't quit when you're behind. 
plans I have for that $10,000 is taking my wife on the honeymoon we didn't get. We'll be 10 years married, so I'm gonna treat her something nice.